5 Budgeting Mistakes to Avoid Are you tired of feeling like your money is slipping through your fingers, like you work hard but still can't seem to get ahead? You're not alone. Millions of people struggle with budgeting, and it's often due to a few common mistakes. In this video, we're going to dive deep into 5 budgeting blunders that might be keeping you broke, and more importantly, I'm going to give you actionable steps to fix them. These aren't just theoretical tips. These are the exact strategies I've used to build my own financial freedom, and they can work for you too. Let's talk about the five budgeting mistakes that might be keeping you broke and how to avoid them. Ever wonder where your money goes at the end of the month? You think you have everything under control, but somehow, your bank account tells a different story. You're budgeting for rent, groceries, and utilities, but somehow your bank account is still dwindling. You might even be cutting back on big expenses, yet the numbers just don't add up. The culprit? Those seemingly insignificant small expenses. That daily latte, the one you grab on your way to work every morning, the impulse buy at the checkout counter, like that magazine or candy bar you didn't plan on purchasing, those few extra streaming services you barely use, they all add up. Each small transaction seems harmless on its own but together, they create a significant drain on your finances. We're talking about the death by a thousand cuts scenario, except in this case, it's death by a thousand lattes. Each cup of coffee, each small purchase, chips away at your budget. Trust me, I've been there. It's easy to overlook these small expenses because they seem so trivial at the moment. When I first started tracking my spending, I was shocked to see how much I was wasting on little things. A $5 coffee here, a $10 lunch there. It was eye-opening. It all adds up to a significant chunk of change at the end of the month. Those small, seemingly harmless purchases were costing me hundreds of dollars. And that's money that could be going towards your financial goals, whether it's paying off debt, saving for a down payment, or investing for the future. Imagine what you could achieve with that extra cash. Don't underestimate the power of small expenses. They can have a big impact on your overall financial health. They can sabotage your budget without you even realizing it. It's like a slow leak in a boat. If you don't plug it, you'll eventually sink. So, what's the solution? Track every single penny you spend for a month. Use a budgeting app, a spreadsheet, or even a good old-fashioned notebook. The method doesn't matter as much as the consistency, or even a good old-fashioned notebook. The key is to be meticulous and honest with yourself. Write down every expense, no matter how small. The key is to be meticulous and honest with yourself. Once you see where your money is actually going, you'll be able to identify those sneaky little expenses that are draining your budget. Once you see where your money is actually going, you'll be able to identify those sneaky little expenses that are draining your budget. You might be surprised at how much you can save by cutting out or reducing these small costs. You might be surprised at what you discover. It's a powerful exercise that can transform your financial habits and help you take control of your money. Another huge budgeting mistake is not having a clear financial goal. Without a clear destination, your financial journey can feel aimless and frustrating. It's like running a race without a finish line. You keep moving, but there's no sense of accomplishment or direction. You're putting in the effort, but you don't know where you're going or why. This lack of direction can lead to burnout and frustration. Many people live paycheck to paycheck, focused on short-term comfort rather than long-term financial security. This cycle can be exhausting and demoralizing, they might budget for their immediate needs, but they lack a bigger picture. Without a long-term vision, it's hard to make meaningful progress. Without a clear goal, it's easy to lose motivation and fall back into bad spending habits. The lack of a tangible target makes it difficult to stay disciplined. A budget without a purpose is just a set of restrictions. It feels like a chore rather than a tool for achieving your dreams. It needs a driving force, a reason to stick to it. This driving force is what keeps you committed and focused. That's where financial goals come in. They provide clarity and direction, turning your budget into a powerful tool for achieving your dreams. Do you want to buy a house, pay off student loans, retire early? These goals give your financial plan a purpose. Whatever your goal, write it down and make it specific. Specificity turns vague wishes into actionable plans. Instead of saying, I want to save more money, say I want to save $5,000 for a down payment in the next six months. This makes your goal measurable and achievable. A clear, measurable goal gives your budget purpose and makes it much easier to stay on track. It provides a sense of direction and accomplishment. It provides a tangible target to work towards, and that can be incredibly motivating. Each step you take brings you closer to your goal. 
So take some time to think about what you want to achieve financially. Reflect on your dreams and aspirations. Once you have a clear goal in mind, your budget becomes a roadmap to get you there. It transforms from a set of restrictions into a strategic plan for success. Mistake number three, the static budget, ignoring life's curveballs. Setting a budget is a great first step, but it's not a set it and forget it kind of thing. It's like planting a garden. You can't just plant the seeds and walk away. You need to water it, tend to it, and make adjustments as needed. Life changes and your budget needs to change with it. Whether you're moving into a new home, expecting a baby, or starting a new job, these life events can significantly impact your financial situation. One of the biggest budgeting mistakes is failing to adjust your budget regularly. It's easy to get caught up in the routine and forget to revisit your financial plan. You might have created a perfect budget six months ago, but is it still relevant today? Think about all the changes that can happen in half a year. Did you get a raise? A higher income means you can allocate more towards savings or paying off debt. Did your rent go up? Housing costs are a significant part of most budgets, and an increase can throw off your entire plan. Did you have an unexpected expense? These can come out of nowhere and wreak havoc on your finances if you're not prepared. Life throws curveballs, and your budget needs to be flexible enough to handle them. Flexibility is key to managing your finances effectively. Many people create a budget and then never look at it again. It's like buying a gym membership and never going. It won't do you any good. They stick to the same spending plan month after month, even when their circumstances change. This rigidity can lead to financial strain. This can lead to overspending, missed savings goals, and ultimately, financial frustration. It's a cycle that's hard to break once it starts. Your budget should be a living document, something you revisit and revise regularly. Think of it as a roadmap that needs constant updates to reflect new routes and destinations. Ideally, you should review your budget at least once a month. This regular check-in helps you stay on track and make necessary adjustments. Look at your actual spending compared to your planned spending. This comparison can reveal patterns and areas where you might need to make changes. Identify any areas where you overspent or underspent. Understanding these discrepancies is crucial for making informed adjustments, and most importantly, make adjustments based on your current financial situation. Your budget should reflect your reality, not an idealized version of it. If you got a raise, increase your savings contributions. This is a great way to ensure that extra income is put to good use. If your expenses went up, look for areas where you can cut back. Small changes can add up to significant savings over time. A dynamic budget that adapts to your changing needs is essential for long-term financial success. It's not just about making a plan, it's about making a plan that works for you, no matter what life throws your way. Mistake number four, no emergency fund, living on the edge. Imagine this, your car breaks down, you lose your job, or you have an unexpected medical emergency. How would you handle it if you didn't have any savings? Living without an emergency fund is like walking a tightrope without a safety net. One wrong step, and you could fall into a deep financial hole. It's not a matter of an emergency will happen, but life is unpredictable, and unexpected expenses are inevitable. An emergency fund provides a financial cushion to protect you from these unexpected events. Without it, you might be forced to rely on credit cards, take out loans, or even borrow money from family and friends. These options can lead to a cycle of debt that can be difficult to break free from. Building an emergency fund doesn't have to be overwhelming. Start small. Even saving $1,000 is a great first step. Then, gradually, work your way up to three to six months of living expenses. This might seem like a lot, but it's a worthwhile investment in your financial security. Having an emergency fund gives you peace of mind, knowing that you can handle whatever life throws your way. Mistake number five, the credit card trap, plastic prison. Credit cards can be a useful tool when used responsibly but relying too much on credit can quickly lead to a mountain of debt. Many people fall into the trap of only paying the minimum balance on their credit cards. This might seem like a manageable approach, but it actually keeps you in debt longer and costs you more in interest. Credit card interest rates are notoriously high. By only paying the minimum, you're essentially throwing money away on interest payments. That's money that could be going towards your financial goals. The longer you stay in debt, the more interest you accrue, and the harder it becomes to climb out of the hole. So, what's the solution? Prioritize paying off your high interest debt first. Create a debt repayment plan and stick to it. Consider using the debt snowball or debt avalanche method to accelerate your progress, and most importantly, control your spending. 
Use cash or a debit card instead of relying on credit. This will help you avoid accumulating more debt and stay within your budget. Breaking free from the credit card trap is essential for achieving financial freedom. Take control of your finances. Let's quickly recap the five budgeting mistakes we covered today. Ignoring small expenses, not having a clear financial goal, failing to adjust your budget, living without an emergency fund, and relying too much on credit. These mistakes can sabotage your financial progress, but by avoiding them, you can take control of your money and build a more secure future. Ready to stop these mistakes from keeping you broke? Start tracking your budget today and take control of your financial future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more money-saving tips.